This is Mission Control Houston. Teams here in the Mission Control Center at the Johnson Space Center in Houston have been awaiting more word from their uh, counterparts at the Russian Mission Control Center outside of Moscow about the uh, fate of the uh, Progress supply ship that launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan at 8 o'clock Houston time this morning. However, the uh, head of the Russian Mission Control Center has reported to Space Station Commander Andrei Barasenka that that Progress supply ship uh, suffered a failure of the upper stage of the booster at 320 seconds into the flight. That is five minutes and 20 seconds into the flight. That communication was launched, was lost with both the launch vehicle and the uh, supply ship. Uh, efforts to send commands to that vehicle in uh, two subsequent communications passes uh, so far have been unsuccessful. The uh, Russian teams have not reported that that progress vehicle has been launched, uh, has been lost. However, they are uh, continuing to uh, try to determine the cause of the uh, upper stage failure this morning. In the meantime, the uh, crew members on orbit spent their day doing science while some members were starting to prepare to come home next month. In the meantime, flight engineer Sergei Volkov set up the Rusalka experiment hardware today. That's a combination camera and spectrum analyzer which is aimed at the sunlight that reflects off of the Earth's surface as seen from on orbit. The Rusalka experiment is refining a procedure for later hardware that will measure levels of carbon dioxide and methane that are present in the Earth's atmosphere. Station Commander Andrei Barysenko and Flight Engineer Alexander Samakutiaev uh, continued their departure preparations today, uh, doing operations with the lower body negative pressure suit. That is a standard protocol for Russian crew members who are uh, preparing to return to Earth after an extended period of time on orbit. The uh, suit exerts a negative pressure which will tend to draw the bodily fluids down toward the person's feet in an effort to uh, simulate the gravity. They also spent time packing their Soyuz vehicle and their uh, Soyuz crewmate, flight engineer Ron Guerin, also was working on departure preparations today. Those three crew members are scheduled to undock from the International Space Station on the evening of September 7th, U.S. time, and uh, land in Kazakhstan on September the 8th. Flight engineer Mike Fossum spent his morning stowing hardware for the SHEAR experiment. That's a, a fluid physics experiment that had experiment runs last week and also spent a portion of his afternoon cleaning up storage containers that are located inside the uh, minus 80 degrees laboratory freezer that uh, holds experiment samples before their return to Earth. The uh, crew expects to spend most of their day on Thursday in continued experiment operations while waiting to learn more about uh, progress number 44 and preparing for the departure of three crew members coming up in early September.